Hi, so today I am going to be doing um, like simple sweater knitted raised 3D nails um, a tutorial. I just thought let me just move that. I just thought I'd show you the things that I usually use and the differences in them. So obviously you have the option of uh, well this is my junkie pot, so I ignore the lumps in there. It's just plain clear acrylic which works fantastic and that's one of the better things to use. Sometimes I will use the pot I've shown you in another video. Now this is clear acrylic, but if you can pick up that shimmer and the random hair that I've got in there, this has, I've put mica powders, chrome, pixie dust and super fine glitter into this. So I get the same effect as this but with the tiniest shimmer to it which is perfect for winter if you want a little glistening look and the other one you can use that I keep in this pot is a a white fine glitter but sometimes if you're doing really thin lines I find it can be chunky but you do need it does need to be fine or or super fine to get the Please excuse Chippy to get the effect you want. But if I just sorry, this doesn't fit in the screen properly. But I have a folder full of um full of full of glitters. Let me just move you around. So if we go all the way up here because it's a huge folder. But you have like where's my camera? There we are. Nope, there we are not. It's like this one. It's labelled as a pixie dust because this is like super, super fine, which are even better for doing the sugar in. No, I have these, which I wanted to show you. And these are from Colours Wild um, online. These are the super, super fine glitters which should be perfect for this and you can see that one's golden in the light but these are color change glitters so if i show you the next one oops i'm just trying to get it out of my folder this one has the pink to green shimmer to it but these are all super super fine so these would be perfect for sugar in the nail as an option as well I just wanted to share with you some of my um, some of my glitters especially for doing things like that before I started so that you you can see you do have options um, and I'll start with the tutorial now okie dokie so I'm going to do four different ones using four different things so I'm going to use the pixie dust which is kind of, it's a glitter that's ground so fine, it's kind of like icing sugar, or if you're American, confectioner sugar, I believe. There's the acrylic mix I made with the, the shimmers in. I'll be using clear acrylic and the finish glitter to show you what they all look like. Um, so if you are wanting to follow along at a later date, you will need your gel polishes. Today's are going to be my trusty Bond Pretty White, my beautiful buff that I used in the last set by Glitterama, which is Hema Free, the Say No More Pink, which I used in the last set, and Slate, which is a grey, also Hema Free. This one's by Nail Mate. Um, you either need a shiny top coat or a matte top coat. I'm using matte because it's just what I prefer. You will want a fine liner brush and a bunch of darting tools. Do not have to follow along, but if you choose to at a later date, do there, so feel free. So I will give these all a coat. I will do a coat on camera and then I will do the second, I'll pause it and do the second coat off camera so the video doesn't take too long. Um, but yeah, if depending on your polishes, you actually may only need to do one coat. 
I think it generally depends on the on the thickness. But I thought I would do a little tutorial on the sweater nails because while we are still in fall and I absolutely love them for fall and autumn, Christmas is also coming up and I know it's a lot of the Christmas designs over the past few years have had the sweater nails on. Um, so I just thought I would show you some different designs and some different options. And it seems to be that some some people find some designs really easy and other people find them hard. So I suppose it depends. So I'm not going to list these in any order of hardness or easiness. Because it just depends on the person. And this is my trusty bond pretty white. I do love this stuff. It goes on basically one coat and it's bloody fantastic. Um, I've also seen, I'm not doing it in this video, but I have also seen some techs um, put their paint on a palette for when they're going to be doing, you know, the 3D lines. And they have actually mixed it with acrylic to thicken it on the palette. I've got a little cheeky brush hair on that one. Um, I've seen them thicken it on the palette because some polishes are thicker than others. And the, the thinner ones might might be tempted to run. So these are our four colours and I will put them in the Nuka. And then I will do a second coat and I'll get back to you. Okay, so this is two coats of each. So I am going to matte top coat mine. Um but either matte or shiny. Um, so I'll be back in a second. Okay, so they are in the Nuka, or lamp, whichever one you want to call it. And I have my palette. So I am just going to put a little bit of each onto the palette for my line work. Just putting a little on because I can always go back and, and put more on if need be. Um, if your top coats have a tacky layer, you will want to wipe that off. Um, so it's nice and smooth and non-sticky for the next part. Now I have two brushes depending on how well it behaves. I have my Line It Fine by CJP, which I love, but it is crooked because I do not take as good a care of my brushes as I should do. And I have my favorite D-liner by Dorota Palika. Now she has some lovely tutorials on her channel um, on sweater nails and gel art in general. So here we are, matte top coated. It still looks a little shiny in places. I'm just gonna give that another 30 seconds just to, just to make sure. So the first one I'm going to do will be the gray. And I think I will go with, I'll go with the normal acrylic on this one and I'll work my way down towards glitter um, in order of chunkiness. Yeah, well, not in order of chunkiness, but I'll work my way down to the glare. Right. So if I move these out of the way, so we just focus on this one. And I will do the first design. Now this first one, I am just going to use a dotting tool and my brush with this one. Let's see if I can zoom you in a little more. Just to... No, nope, apparently that's all you're getting zoomed in. Okay. So what I'm gonna do with this one is some dots. 
And then I'm going to turn these into a little heart shape. Now, like I did on that other nail, you can cure your different sections at different times. You know, dust and cure and then go back in. That is never a problem. And sometimes you're better off doing it in different sections, just in case you're likely to smudge. Which I most definitely am. I'm me. So I'll do that. And then with a smaller one, I'm just going to do some little in between dots. Now I am going to dust this one and then go back in. So I'll be using the crystal glass first and I actually just use a nail tip to scoop sometimes. So we will put this on and I'll leave that there for a second just to soak in. And as you can see, there's still shiny places on that. So we'll put another layer in and we'll leave that to soak in as well. And then once it's absorbed it all, we will put it straight in the Cure. Okay, so this is cured. So we're just giving a little brush off back into the pot. As you can see, it is a raised 3D now. So I will bring my palette back and I will go on with my brush. And I plan just to do some lines down the sides, kind of like a stripe. And it doesn't matter if you put quite a bit of gel polish on because you're wanting raised lines anyway. I mean, the acrylic does give it some rise. But the more polish it's got to soak into, the, the I don't know, higher it'll be. So as you can see, my line work is not straight. I'm not the best at straight lines. So there's one. And I will spin it round and start the other one. Now, if you have longer striping brushes, it is easier to do the straight line, but mine needs cleaning because I did not put my lid back on properly and it is now a bit of a gunky mess. So I am going to try and fix it without the need for having to buy another one. And then I just like to do, can you see that? Just some tiny little diagonal flicks down the, down the, down the nail. Um, And there we go. So one second, I will just clean off my brush and move my palette. And we will go back in again with this one. So again, you just scoop up your acrylic and leave it to sit there nicely for a minute. And I will just flip it over and let it soak in on this side as well. I'm just going to keep twirling it around so none of it decides to run. But I will keep giving it a nice, a nice dose of acrylic. See this one, if you can see that has gone shiny. So that can still take more acrylic powder. So we'll give it that amount to soak in. Okay. And then just give it a little tap. And I will put 
oops i will apparently drop it on the table the acrylic powder on my gloves are making it a little slippy all right so we'll put that one in and i will show you when it's finished okay so next up is the buff i've left the other one in the the lamp curing and i'll show you them all when they're finished so this one i will be using my brush for oops here we go and if you oh there we go if we just paint some lines here now these top ones will be shorter as if it's going disappearing in fact no it won't it'll be long because i smudged the lines and if you put them about even Well, I do seem to be accidentally making one side longer than the other. So these are even Stevens going down the nail. And then you want to zigzag over and then over from that one so they kind of cross over in the middle i'm being a bit stingy with the gel on my brush from the looks of it there we go so you just make a cross in the center and join them up now, if you don't, if you have spaces where there isn't a lot of gel, you can always go back over those to bulk them out. And then obviously I will cross that one as if it was still flowing off of the nail. As I did with the other design, I am going to, what's it this? So let me just put him in there because I don't have a lid for this one. So this go around, I'm going to use the pixie dust, which is, no, I'm not using the pixie dust. Excuse me. I am using this. This is my sheer, my sheer white acrylic glitter. Everything's thrown in it. Mess. So we will just sprinkle some of that in. And we leave that sit there for a few seconds just to soak it all in. And we'll give it a tip and we will just watch and wait a, wait a few seconds just to see if any places start to go shiny. I don't know if you can see, but around this side here, they are starting to go shiny. So we will just pile some more on there. And remember, don't dunk it in your tub because it can actually smudge the design. And give it a little tap. But with all my extras in there, look, it does look nice as a sheen if I stick it to nails for like a frost design in winter. So we will put that in to cure. Um, I normally give it a full 60 seconds. I mean, my gel polish is cure for 60 seconds anyway. But I always like to make sure, and sometimes with a thicker glitter, it's good to have a bit extra curing time. So this is the grey one. If we brush that off, there we go. That is our, our grey nail with our nice heart-shaped sweat design on that one. So we'll put him off to the side and out of the way. Okay, so we'll give this one a brush off. And there we go. Oh, let me bring my pad back. I'm making a mess of my workspace again. Now I am going to do lines again on this one. Let's try and lay out the track a bit thicker. There we go. Am I keeping you in shot? I think I might need to see if I can fix my liner brush because 
it really would be easier with a longer striping brush and you do get straighter lines spin it around I've got gloves on when I normally do it because I am playing with the acrylic powder but honestly it is making it a little hard to hold the nail tip okay let me just wipe that off and on this one this one I am going to do some tiny little dots down the sides generally they are supposed to line up with each other on the other side but I don't always make them do that so let me move my palette and I will bring back my junk pot and we will give that a douse in and the other side to make sure it doesn't go running anywhere. So we are now on to the pink nail. That other one is in the lamp. And back to my pad. So this pink one. It will be the brush again for this one. And I'm going to do like a kind of zigzaggy design that I've seen. So let's turn this around. I think this is one of the more common sweater ones. Hmm. Yes. So you do like an L shape and then down again. And this repeats all the way down the nail. This one was one of the first ones I learnt, so I do find this one the easiest. But for some reason, it has a tendency to get smaller and shorter the further down the nail I get. I don't know if you've noticed that or if it's even doing it today. But yeah. But this is one of the first ones I learnt, and because it was just like L's and lines, I found it the simplest to do. And then just a little notch in there and a little notch up there as if the design's continuing off of the nail. Hmm. And I will sugar this one before I put it in and do the rest again. If you have the confidence, by all means, go ahead and do the full nail in one go. I just do not have that confidence in myself. So this one is the pixie dust. This is the one that is almost like um, I believe Americans call it confectioner's sugar. Over here, we'd call it icing sugar. So I've put quite a lot on there. And I will just leave that to soak in for a minute or so, just to make sure. Problem is, when it's so fine, it actually does get everywhere. And the brown one is out of the lamp. And there we have your brown one. As you can see, is that picking up on camera? You do have the slight shimmer to it. Whereas with the grey one, you don't. It's just matte with that one. That's why I added the little mixed bits into my acrylic. So I still got the, the fineness of it without the chunkiness of the glitter showing it. So this, I will put in there. That does currently look a mess, but it won't when it is done 
And I am just going to take a brush and brush all that back into there. The, the lady I bought this off no longer sells all the glitters she used to. So I do not want to be wasteful with the bits I cannot replace. Right, and I will be back in a moment while it cures. Okay, so this one is cured. So I just brush off that glitter. And there you go, obviously this one has the green, oops, sorry, I knocked my table. This one has the green sparkle in the light. I don't know if you're getting the color shift or just the glitter. But yeah, as usual, I think I will go back in with lines again. A lot of them just seem to have line borders. Not something you need to do. I think it's just something that's habit. Or maybe you do need, oh, I don't know. But one second, I'm just gonna see if I can use my other brush. Okay, we're gonna give it a try with this one. Where is my hand? There you go. It will either work or it will not. We will soon see. So I'm just running the paint through my brush and loading it up. But hopefully I'm gonna show you how much easier it is with a longer brush. Well, almost, almost. I will just finish off that little bit and neaten it up with my normal brush. But the line flows a lot better because you can just drag it down the length, length of the, um, the length of the brush. So let's try again at the other side. Are we ready? we go and that just glides now my lines are by no means straight they're actually diagonal and crooked as hell but as you can see that is a lot a lot easier i'm just going to put my cat back on my brush And I think we will do the usual little dashes on this one. But I'm going to go sideways this time. Now at this point you can add more paint to your palette, but because I am literally finishing it up with this colour, I am not going to bother. So I will dust this one and get back to you with the next. Okay, so that is this one. See, it's a little... So you've got perfectly smooth, no sparkle. Still really smooth with the tiny bits of glitter and shimmer. This one, as you can see, it is rougher. Even though the glitter is still like super, super fine, it does give a rough texture. So last but not least is going to be the white one. Now, I just watched a tutorial on this style myself, so may turn out well, may not. I just kind of liked the look of it, so I thought I'd include it. And what she did, are you in view? Yes, you are. What she did was kind of draw like C shapes. Probably more than a little bit smaller than what I have just done. I mean, I suppose you could like do crossovers to do it. And then she does this side and connects them. Hmm. Weirdly enough, I'm finding this one harder. I might find I might have to find a different way to do this one. Because it's not very, it's not very even. I might find it easier doing like the S shapes, I think. I 
and I'm just laying over an extra layer of polish. That is this one. And then she took a dot and tool and she put a dot in the center, which I quite liked. Hmm. Again, I am off center and that is a bendy line. But I'm gonna go for straight line again, down the sides. Worth looking at is, is it Nail Career Education by Susie? Um, and when I typed in sweater nail on YouTube, one of her videos comes up. Now she does do it on a super long pair of stilettos, but she kind of breaks it up into sections. So each nail has like little sections of a ton of different, um, different designs on it. And I, I kind of really liked the look actually. And I'm gonna go for some bigger circles on the sides because there is circles in the middle. Now, as you can see, this is not even because I have not managed to get my design in the middle of the nail. But you win some and you lose some. So this is the one that is going to be going in the, the fine glitter. So the other one was like super fine, like icing sugar, whereas this one is slightly bigger, but it's still a fine glitter. And I will just sprinkle that over. Oops, I didn't even pick any up there. Oops, I'm not doing very good at picking this glitter up. Now you can also pick it up with like a fan brush and just tap your brush and dust it over. I just chose to use the, the nail tip version, so I will put that one in to cure. So while that is curing, I'm just gonna clean down my glitter. Baby wipes are a nail tag's best friend when it comes to cleaning up anything. I find as well, if I have them on my desk laid out like this when I am using pigment powders, you know, the, the neon ones, and if I use them on top of this, it just, it gets trapped in the baby wipe and does not float onto everything you own like it has a tendency to do. But let me just lay that back out again a second while I dust this one off. Here we go, give them all another dust off. Oops, I'll throw them off, as the case may be. So, from start to finish then, we have the clear acrylic, the clear acrylic with the added little bits and bats. We have the super, super fine glitter and then we have a fine glitter. And as you can see, the difference between these two, the, the fine, you know, the super fine and the fine, this fine one is a little chunkier. But there you go. That is four different designs. There are many, many more. These are just the four that I chose to show you. I'm sorry about this moving. I keep knocking my table. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video and that it helped some of you. Or some of you learned something new if you've not tried it before. And for those of you that don't do acrylic and don't have acrylic powder, you obviously have glitter as an option as well. So, yeah, thank you very much for watching. Um, if you've enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really does help my channel. And it lets me know that you're enjoying my videos. Um, if you would like to see some more tutorials, nail hauls, or just watch me work nail videos in general um please subscribe and hit the bell so you get you get let you get to know when i'm putting new videos up i'm trying to do a minimum of one a week sometimes if i'm having a nail day there will be a couple released that week or even on the same day and um, i also have instagram and tiktok where i do tiny short videos on tiktok um of little nail art bits as well so please take a look at those as well and thank you very much, guys. I will be back soon. Bye.